Hello and welcome to the Year 9 Options Process. My name is Oliver Forster, I'm the Vice Principal who is in charge of the Options Process and I work on it along with Mr Lockhart, our Assistant Principal. The important part of this process is that students, parents, carers feel absolutely confident that they've got all the information to make brilliant choices for the future. Of course next year, along with your option subjects, there are core subjects. The core subjects, as we can see here, are English, Language and Literature, Maths and uh, Science. Now that is a double award, so it's worth two GCSEs. That's five GCSEs in total. Along with that, you will also do Personal Social and Health Education and Core RE, uh, which are combined, and also Core Physical Education. English, Maths and Science are all eight hours per fortnight. PSHE is two hours per fortnight, and Core Physical Education is also two hours per fortnight. We then get on to our option subjects, and students study four option subjects, each of them for six hours per fortnight. What's brilliant about these is they allow you to personalise your curriculum. You can pick subjects which you enjoy, which you're particularly good at, which you maybe will find useful to your future studies, your future education, uh, your future employment or apprenticeships. And of course, what they all will do is prepare you for those next steps. Within the options process, you will choose at least one EBAC or English Baccalaureate subject. You can choose more. Those subjects support future study and success, and they're academic GCSE subjects. They're all 100% exam based, and they're expected by lots of education providers uh, and, and training providers as well. Also, of course, we are Ormond Ilkeson Enterprise Academy, and enterprise is very important to us. So all students, or I should say most students, do study at least one enterprise related subject and those subjects are uh, seen there on the screen. The only exception to this are if you study either three EVAC subjects or two EVAC subjects and GCSE RE. The reason for this is, is that these subjects tend to have a large exam load and therefore what we'd like people to do if they've got a large exam load is to have a free choice of their fourth subject. But the enterprise related subjects are brilliant. What they do is they focus on your understanding of the world of work and employment. They have a mixture of both coursework and exam modules. And that does spread the load over the two years. Some of these exams are at other times in the year, for example, in January of year 11. And it takes a little bit of the pressure off as well. But they're also valued by education providers and employment providers as well. We also at OIA really support performance and creative subjects. They are brilliant for de developing people's skills and their confidence as they move through school. They also have exam and coursework elements and they allow students to follow particular interests and to challenge themselves. The one thing we say about all these subjects is that they do require commitment outside of the normal six hours in school. That might be for sports practices, to complete your art coursework, to do music lessons. And therefore, we wouldn't necessarily recommend doing three or four of them, but certainly doing one or two of them is a really uh, lovely thing to do and a good idea. Now, for those of us who are a little bit older, we will remember when GCSEs were graded A star to U. Of course, they're now graded uh, 9 down to U. Just a quick explanation here that uh, grades 9 to 7 are equivalent to the old A to A star grades. Grades 4 to 6 are equivalent to the old C and B grades, and then grades 1 to 3 are equivalent to the old D to G grades. But all of the vocational qualifications that we have are equivalent to the GCSEs in the, the, what they call the points that they uh, earn, but also in their importance and their value. So, for example, in a BTEC, a level two distinction star is worth grade eight and a half. Uh, a level two distinction is worth grade seven, which is equivalent to the old A grade as well. Uh, a level two pass is equivalent to a grade four, which is equivalent to the old C grade. So they are equivalent to those. So how does the options process work? Well, first of all, we have the four option blocks which have a great range of subjects in each of them. In each of those option blocks, you will pick a first, second and third choice. What you cannot do is have the same first choice in more than one option block because, of course, you can't study a subject twice with that. But you could, for example, have history as a first choice in one block and a third choice in another. That would be fine. You must make sure that you have at least one EBAC related subject in there. They have EBAC in brackets on the options form next to them. You must then pick at least one enterprise related subject. They have ENT in brackets by them. Again, that is unless you are opting for three EBAC subjects or two EBAC subjects plus GCSE RE. 
Also on the form, you can put, there is a space to put in your top or your favourite subject. Please do do that. It gives me a great idea of which subject I will try and prioritise for you. So, for example, if I know that you are passionate about being a chef, I will try and make sure, if at all possible, that you can get to do hospitality and catering and so on. Now, of course, it isn't possible to do every single combination of subjects out there. The only way that would be possible would be to have every single subject in every single option block and you'd end up with class sizes of about five. Uh, but what we have done is design the option blocks to have the most common or popular uh, sort of combinations of subjects in there and certainly combinations which have been popular in the past. Now, we cannot guarantee that everybody will get four first choices. That is why we ask for second and third choices. We really do try and give you a top choice if we can. Um, certainly last year we managed to give 99% of students either uh, three, uh, sorry, either four first choices or three first choices and a second choice and we will try to do that again. What's really important is also that we provide lots of advice and guidance so there's obviously information on the website, there's videos about every subject, there's also information in the options booklet, you can talk to myself and Mr Lockhart about it and of course talk to subject teachers about it as well. We do, in deciding which subjects are offered to each student, we do look at attitude to learning from previous progress checks. Clearly, if a student has had a one for their attitude to learning, the, the top level, all the way through that subject, then that's going to suggest to us that they're going to work really hard in it for the next two years and do really well. If a student has had maybe a three or a four for their attitude to learning, we will have a conversation about why they might want to do that subject if they've not really tried hard on it in the past. It doesn't mean they won't get to do it, because things do change, of course, but it is something we want to talk about. If we do think there is a need to change up for blocks, we will always talk to parents and carers about that as well. It's very important uh, that people are involved in that uh, discussion about their children's future choices. So, how do you pick your subjects? Well, first of all, please do focus on your strengths and your interests. Think about which subjects you've been really good at, which subjects that you've maybe had good assessment results in, and that will be a good indication that you'll do well in that in year 10 and year 11. Also, do think about your future plans. Think about maybe what further study you might want to do, maybe what career you might be interested in, or what apprenticeship you might be interested in. Do think also about how those subjects are assessed. Please think about do you prefer exams as the GCSE subjects have or are you maybe a fan of coursework and working on something over time so maybe vocational subjects might be a good thing to do. Please don't pick it on what your friends are doing, they may have different interests to you and please don't pick it based on the teachers because you may have a different teacher next year anyway. A few points to think about. A small number of students may need some literacy and SEND support, if that is the case then students will be given that support and parents will be contacted by Mrs Marriott Arsenko. We also run the Learning Zone, which is an academic support unit for students. Again, if we feel that is useful for a student, we will talk to the student and to parents about that uh, in advance. Also, of course, there's lots of advice and guidance going on. We have the careers team in school, we have uh, advice and guidance going on through our PSHE programme, and most importantly, I would very much advise students to talk to their teachers, really find out about what those subjects involve. So in terms of the timeline for the options process, return options forms on Monday the 21st of March, please. There is not first come, first serve, so don't panic if you've not got it in yet. It coming on, the, on that day, we put it all into a big spreadsheet, and then we try and work out uh, what options are suitable for which students. Then we will interview every student as well, and that's done by the 23rd of June. If there are changes needed, we would contact home, we will talk to parents and carers about that as well. And that final subject offer is confirmed by the 13th of July. If we can, we will do it earlier, but it will depend obviously on uh, other factors as well in that. But certainly 13th of July is the latest date that that will be. So, most importantly, please do spend a bit of time thinking about this process, please do feel confident asking for advice and guidance. It's not a process that you need to go through on your own. We'll happily give it. Uh, but really, you must choose subjects that you think are best for you and that you're going to enjoy uh, studying for two years and which you are going to be successful in. So thank you very much and goodbye.